What up, cappers, gamblers, punters? What up, salutes? What up, mama? It's Wednesday, June 28th. Those of you who follow me know that I'm in a major fucking losing streak. A giant fucking losing streak. After the Astros lost to the A's yesterday, went to the shower and tried to wash off the stench of losing. I shaved. I trimmed my pubes. Didn't need to touch my balls because I keep them shaved because they need to be sucked. But I had to get the fucking losing off of me. Right now we're in a genuine emergency. I'm used to having my salute standards reduced by a bad downswing. They happen. It's part of the profession. But I've never lost eight days in a row in 20 years of being a professional gambler. Last night I lost for the seventh straight day. After the shower, I had to make a withdrawal from my own sperm bank for the first time in a long time. But I'm going to bounce back. My pockets are like Oprah Winfrey. Yes, they got real thin very fast. But we all know what happens next. They're going to bloom back up so fast they'll make your head spin. Got Oprah Winfrey pocket, motherfucker. Thin today, fat as fuck tomorrow. Angry. In first year statistics courses, the professor will divide the class in the half. They'll tell one half to flip a coin a hundred times and record the results. They'll tell the other half just to make them up, write down a random sequence of heads or tails. When the papers are handed in anonymously, the professor can immediately tell which papers were made up and which were real because the kids who made them up didn't have any extremely long streaks. They never put seven heads or tails in a row. But on the papers who did, for, did it for real, there were sometimes streaks as long as 14. The kids who made them up had totals close to 50-50. The, the papers of the kids who did it for real sometimes had 75% head, 25% tail. I'm on a special kind of streak right now. No head or tail. And it stops today. Shit. I'm keying the Colorado Rockies. The game starts in just under two hours. Rockies are on the road. I'm taking them over the San Francisco Giants at minus 120. The Rockies are looking to end their seven-game losing streak. Does that sound familiar? Me and the Rockies are doing this together. It's Kyle Freeland versus Ty, Ty Blatch. Freeland's 8-5, 3.70 ERA, 1.46 whip. He might be the best rookie in the National League. He's had two starts against the Giants this year, over 13 innings, and allowed one run. And they're up against Ty Blatch, 4-5, 4.86 ERA, 1.33 whip. It looks like he has hit the rookie wall. He's been crushed lately. In his last four starts, he's allowed 22 runs, 37 hits, and 21 in the third innings, a 9.28 ERA. I'm taking the Rockies, Kyle Freeland, take care of business. We are going to stop our seven-game losing streaks together. So I'm keying them the Rockies. I'm tying the Rockies in the first game to the Yankees on the road over the White Sox. Masahiro Tanaka versus Carlos Rodon. Tanaka is 5-7 with a 5.74 ERA and a 1.41 whip. Last start was a beauty. Eight innings, zero earned runs, three hits, two walks, nine strikeouts. But this guy's been Jekyll and Hyde this year. And we've seen a lot more Jekyll. In five starts this year, he's allowed one run or less. In six starts this year, he's allowed at least five runs. The reason why we're making this bet is because he's going up against Carlos Rodon. He's been out all year with left bicep bursitis. In four rehab assignments, he's been lit the fuck up to the tune of 10.06 ERA. He started Sunday in Charlotte, said he felt pretty good. He allowed seven earned runs over four and a third. That is pretty good, Carlos. And three starts against the Yankees in his career. He's 1-2 and two with a 9.64 ERA. The Yankees are average against lefties, but Rodon will get lit the fuck up. So that's the first parlay. Second parlay is Rockies and Padres. They're at home, and they're playing the Braves. Minus 120. It's Luis Perdomo versus Bartolo Colon. Perdomo is getting better and better. He's a Rule 5 free agent. Pick up, and I, I like him. Uh, I think he's going to be a good pitcher in this league. He's 2-4 with a 4.56 ERA and a 1.42 whip. He just threw six shutout innings against the Tigers, albeit with five walks, but it was a good start. In his last three starts, he's allowed three earned runs. Actually, so in his last three home starts, he's allowed three earned runs over 19 in the third innings. He's looking good. And he's going up against Bartolo Colon, who is fresh off the DL. He's 44. 
but he's a very fat 44. He strained his oblique, eating too many chili cheese dogs. Bartolo is 5'10", 280. Is this a pitcher or a midget tosser's worst nightmare? This year he's 2-7 and seven with a 7.78 ERA and a 1.71 whip. Now, when these older starters get a break, they usually come back better than they were. But even if he does, it's not going to be good enough. So I got the Rockies, Yankees, $200 at plus $214. And the Rockies, Padres, $200 at plus 224 Now, I'm telling you this right now. If the Rockies fuck this up, I'm going to double down. I'm going to bet more. I'm not going to go out like some fucking punk, man. I'm going to go out with every cent I have. I don't care if I lose everything tonight. If the Rockies fuck this up, I'm going to bet more. And I know that's not what a capper is supposed to say to people who are listening to his for guidance. But I'm a fucking mess right now. Let me know your action. Hit me at Jimmy the Bag on Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me at JimmyTheBag.com. But fuck, man. Let's stop this fucking losing streak. Falling apart over here. What the fuck?